Well, Steve, the uh, postseason is here. How was the uh, first practice here getting ready for this tournament? Yeah, guys are excited. We went real, real light today. Had a little lift. We got here, did a lot of skill work. But uh, guys are feeling good. You see that guys stuck around after practice and got a bunch more work in. So I think they're excited about our new start. Uh, came off the road trip feeling really, really good about our game Wednesday and not so good about the game Saturday, but that's behind us now. And it's time to line up and play. A shooting night like that, is that just kind of what happens every once in a while? A little bit of that, yeah. Southern Miss does a heck of a job of game planning and locking in on, on uh, uh, the scouting report. They made it hard on Javon and Keaton to get good shots and uh, put a lot of pressure on other people to, to deliver, and, and uh, we did at times, but certainly didn't nearly enough. So they've got the ability to do that to people, so we put that behind us and, and uh, line up and worry about Thursday now. And so, taking care of business, getting that first round by, how important is that for you? Yeah, it was huge. We, we took care of that on Wednesday with a great effort at Western Kentucky. Our guys fought like crazy. Uh, we were a little shorthanded without Nick Allen in there. Other guys stepped up. We had guys bleeding. We had guys uh, getting tape put on their shoulders. And just as soon as they were ready to go, we stuck them back in there and they fought. So that was really important to, to uh, be able to sit out on Wednesday and get ready to play uh, Thursday. Coach, how does your mindset change, or does it, in a type of you know winner or winner go home environment in, in a conference tournament? I. It, it doesn't a lot. You know, we're always just talking about the next game. You know, the next game is always the most important one. Our guys know, you know, the excitement involved with this. You can, you can look at it as pressure. You can look at it as excitement and opportunity. And you know, we're certainly going to look at it in that regard. You know, we'll go over there and fight like crazy. And uh, We've had some games here recently where we, we defended at a high level. And we know that if we defend at a high level and, and move the ball and take care of the basketball, we've got a chance most nights. Coach, you guys finished tied for second, but because of the tiebreaker, you enter. The tournament as number four. Do you, do you like the spot you, you're in, looking at the bracket? Yeah, again, there's so much parity right now. I mean, Old Dominion established that they were the best team, and, and there's a log jam right behind that. Um, but, but there's just not that separate, that much separation. So uh, that's what we've been telling our guys for about the last two months. If we play really, really well, we got a great chance to win. If we, if we play uh, just average, it'll be tough. Anything less than less than that we won't win so um the, the big key was just getting that first round by can you Any give us settings when you have to you know you got to win thursday friday saturday how difficult is it to get up and play again on a friday when you go through it you know uab or middle tennessee you guys are gonna yeah you know it's it's a quick turnaround in our bracket you know if we, if we would win thursday we've got an earlier game on friday so we get, get a lot of film in thursday night if, if we're in that position We'll certainly be very familiar with the opponent, whoever it would be, if they make it to the second round. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of feeling good, and playing with confidence, and doing the things that you've done all the way up to this point. And those things uh, have given us a chance to win most nights. Steve, you had two guys named to the all conference team today, Keaton and Javon. Can you just talk about what that means for them and, you know, what the kind of season both of those guys have had? Yeah, I'm really happy for both those guys. Javon, first team. Uh, Keaton Wallace, second team off conference. Uh, to, to be honest, a little disappointed for, for Keaton. You know, in my mind, he was one of the three legitimate player of the year candidates and um, and, and didn't get it. So um, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. I think had we won the league, I think Javon or Keaton certainly would, both would have had great consideration for the player of the year. Uh, Javon, Javon did what people expected of him, I think, this year. I think Keaton surprised some people, but, but his body of work, Keaton's body of work is just fantastic. You know, the points he's scoring, the rebounds, um, you know, it'll, it'll motivate him. It'll, I'm sure he's proud of it, but he also knows that he, he was, in my mind, was should, should have been a legitimate candidate for the player of the year. His body of work was terrific, and um, it'll motivate him. He'll get a, a couple extra hundred shots every day now, and he'll put on another 15 pounds of muscle in the offseason, and he'll come back even better next year. Can you give us an update on Nick Allen's condition? Progress, yeah, a little progress. I think uh, that was that was, you know, one of the advantages of winning that game on Wednesday is uh, uh, not not that Saturday didn't matter. Every game matters. We preach that to our guys all the time. Every game you play in your college career matters. It should matter. Um, but but we made the decision to rest him on Saturday, which I think will help him. Uh, he was moving around just a little bit better today. You know, in the grand scheme of things, Thursday is. Not that far off, but in his, in his case right now, I think a couple more days like this will, will help him feel better on Thursday, and we're hoping, hoping he can uh, 
get it taped up and play a little bit for us Thursday. What about your two potential opponents, UAB and, and, and Middle Tennessee? They, both teams uh, obviously g have given you trouble this year. What can you tell us about both of those squads? Yeah, um, UAB, you know, was right there in the mix all the way through. Uh, very athletic team. They handled us pretty easily at their place. And then we, we came back and I thought played one of our better defensive games uh, just about a week ago against them. So uh, good team. Middle Tennessee played well against us. Uh, you know, it's the 5-12 game, but ironically the 12 beat the 5 both times head to head. So, you know, we can't sit here and assume we're playing the 5 because uh, we don't have any idea. So we got to just focus on ourselves here the next couple days. And, and then when we do, when we finally figure that out, we'll, we'll watch a little tape. But, you know, UAB is real fresh in our mind because we just played them. Middle Tennessee, was, it's been a while. We'll have to, have to have some good stuff ready for our guys to watch and uh, have a little preparation for them this week. All right, Steve.